It's always beautiful knowing that you can go somewhere peaceful when things are stressful. You can go somewhere peaceful and just relax, you know. You don't have to deal with all of the crazy stuff from your team. <laughs> This city is a resilient, beautiful city of the creator, and we will not let some fragile quarterback keep us down. We will not let a head coach who is extremely soft and careless and reckless keep us down or put us down or hold us down. That's not what this is about. And we will not let a general manager do this ever again to us, not allow this team to have quality depth. So I spoke about this earlier in the year before the season started, actually in the month of March. And I said that Trent Bulky kept his Jaguars with a C minus C plus roster personnel. I said, if this team catches the injury bug, the team is doomed. So although what he wanted to do was to make sure Trevor was insulated more, he wanted to keep new people out of the orbit, and he wanted to make sure the locker room was as comfortable as possible for both Trevor and Doug. So this is why he retained practically almost every single player on the offense and defense. He was hoping that the offense and defense being in the offense for two years Communication would be better, which means the game would be slowed down. The players would play much more faster. Familiarity, continuity, cohesiveness, simpatico. And that's what he wanted, hand and glove. But he wanted to make sure that Trevor was comfortable in the locker room and he didn't want to bring any new people outside of Calvin Ridley to enter that orbit. And the same thing with Doug Peterson trying to play it safe, pander, dote on these guys, massage these guys, and that turned out to be a massive problem because now the injury bug has hit and you don't have any quality depth, right? And you're stuck with a quarterback behind a banged up offensive line and that quarterback is a fragile quarterback. He's not Dan Marino. He's not Peyton Manning. He's not gonna stand in that pocket. He's afraid of these rhinos. And he won't stare down that rhino and take that hit. That's not who Trevor is. He's not Dan Marino. And that's the problem. So when you don't have that type of toughness from your quarterback and you have this makeshift offensive line, there's gonna be a problem. And the problem is that Trimbalke wasn't aggressive enough in free agency or trading a certain player or a couple players to get an extra second round pick or first round pick and wasn't aggressive during a trade and deadline, which leaves you with a C plus roster. That's what this is, a C plus roster. Maybe you could say a B minus roster, but that's not enough. As I told you guys before, it wouldn't be enough to get you to the AFC championship game. Now, with the new facility, we I figured that the players would be able to recover quicker. This is state of the art, one of the best training facilities in all of the NFL. The players don't respect it, obviously, because they complain about something every single day. So they don't like new things. That's clear. And so you fit you factor that in recovery would be better. Film studying would be better. Coaches would be more comfortable. They have new offices with natural lighting and all of this cool stuff. You also factor in chemistry between the players, familiarity. And you also factor in the fact that, listen, you were supposed to have momentum off of last season and you want to capture that and take it to the next level. And so you say, hmm, 12 and 5 or 13 and 4 sounds about right. But if that injury bug hit, the Jaguars are doomed. And so that's really what I got to talk about. What's the solution? Trevor ain't Will Levis. Will Levis put his head down and ran over Jalen Ramsey. That ain't Trevor. Trevor's the type that'll cough that football up so he doesn't have to take a hit. 
and your attention can go to that bone laying on the ground and not the guy who was carrying the bone. He ain't no Will Levis. He's not going to lower that shoulder and lay out Jalen Ramsey. That's not Trevor. Okay. So I wouldn't sign him. I wouldn't re-sign him. He'll, he got one more year. He's got one more year. Show and prove. And if you are just looking above average next year with some games where you're teasing us, I'm not giving that guy a new contract. He'll have to give us a massive discount. But for this upcoming game against the Buccaneers, I say start C.J. Beathard. Doug Peterson already said that Trevor reported himself that he had a concussion. He got slammed to the turf earlier in the game in the third quarter. Head hit the back of the turf. And then later in the game, he took a helmet-to-helmet -helmet hit. So he got messed up twice. But he stayed in the game to prevent C.J. Beathard from getting in there shining. Trevor will throw shade on C.J. and pretend that he's cool with C.J. If Trevor, the first time he reported it, if he would have stayed out of the game and C.J. would have went in there in the third quarter, probably most likely would have won his game. Okay. You Trevor Lawrence meat munchers wouldn't believe that, but it's true. So sit out this game, recover from your concussion, let C.J. get all of the reps. We go to Tampa Bay. We win that game. You come back and beat the Panthers and the Titans. We're in the playoffs. We win the AFC South. It's just that simple. But knowing how stupid Doug Peterson is and how selfish and vain Trevor Lawrence is, they'll let him go out there and play with cobwebs and he'll screw the game up against the Buccaneers and Baker Mayfield will start looking like the number one overall pick he was and looking better than Trevor. And the Jaguars are all messed up. And the U Trevor Lawrence meat munchers will try to come up with another excuse like today. Uh, Jordan, one of the journalists, saying that, oh, the Jaguar receivers dropped four passes last night. Okay, that means Trevor would have still only passed for 53%. He would only complete a 50% of his passes. He would have been 21 of 39 instead of 25 of 43, but you gave him 58. You subtract that four, those four drops, Trevor is 21 of 39 for just 53%, which means he sucked. He sucked. Okay, so no more excuses no more excuses that's what i gotta say about it that's it hallelujah